Welcome to Godly Dragon Reviews and Apologetics. Today I want to go over a topic that's more basic. We live in a world that is becoming slowly more godless and secular every day. People are turning away from God's grace or just won't even believe to begin with. Scoffing atheists challenge Christians on their belief in a personal God, asking us, how do you know God exists? Can you prove it? Well, my friend, if you are one of these scoffers, I have answers. I assume the question you want to ask is, why do you believe in God? Well, there are many simple proofs for God's existence. Let's go all the way back to the beginning of time. At one point in time, atheists believed that the universe always existed. That is, until the Big Bang Theory came around which is the predominant viewpoint of scientists on how the universe came to be. But how on earth can the universe just create itself without a creator? It's simply impossible. Therefore, there must be a creator. Just look around you. Look at the trees. Look at nature. Look at the animals. Do you really think they all came here by accident? How on earth did they get here? Well, my friend, a creator had to create them. Only an intelligent creator can make such wonderful creations of nature and creatures. Now look at yourself. Look at how complex your body is. How it all works and comes together so well. Psalm 139.13 in the New International Version says, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Only an intelligent creator can do that. There's no way your body can all come together by itself. Let's not forget your spirit. God created your spirit and your spirit resides within you. Your spirit is what keeps you alive. Without your spirit, you'd be just a lifeless body. Let's also not forget your soul. God created your soul and your soul is within you. Don't you ever feel like there is something more within you and not just your flesh and bone? If you feel something more, that's your soul. Surely you have a sense of spirituality even if you don't know it. You just want to deny it, and that's why you get angry and scoff. Deep down inside, you know God is real. You just don't want to admit it. Maybe you're just mad at God. You don't want to believe, but He is real. Very real. What if you died today and saw God face to face? But then it would be too late to have salvation. But as long as you're alive and breathing, it's not too late. Don't take a big risk by denying God all your life. If you just believe in God and His Word and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then you have nothing to lose. You'll have the assurance of salvation, the assurance of eternal life in heaven, instead of living in doubt of what lies ahead. This concludes my video on the basic reasons why I believe in God. Next time I will go deeper by examining the case for Christ's divinity, death, and resurrection.